hi dear friend welcome back to my another video and today in this video i am going to show you how to control your phone or your children phone remotely suppose you have children at your home and you gave them phone for using educational purpose and as a parent or as a father you want to make sure that your children does not use any kinds of bad application or that does not use any kinds of bad website so as a father you should have a responsibility to make sure your children is safe right so that's why you want to control your children phone right and sometime you have two or more phone and you left one phone at your home and in later you need to control your that phone remotely and uh, you can do this easily so don't worry in this video i'm going to show you the best easiest way for controlling your phone remotely and i make this video for educational purpose so don't use it in a wrong way and i want to ask you that please watch this video till the end so that you can learn this full process this video will be long so don't skip a second so let us start the video but before starting the video i will ask you something that please subscribe my channel and give also like this video so let's go here in this video you can see there are two phone so this is my first phone suppose i want to control this phone from my first phone so i can control every single settings from my this phone to this second phone so let's jump in the process first of all go to play store from your second phone in which phone you want to control by your main device after that you need to install an application to this device search here air droid a i r d r o i d click on that application and install it after complete this installation process now open this application and click on here sign up then tap here google plus icon after that select your gmail account then type here a password again type here a password after that type here a username then click on sign up after that you will get a verification code in your gmail account now tap in home icon or tab icon and open your gmail now reload it if you not get your verification code then you will see here air.gmail open it as you can see this is my verification code in bold letter just copy it and click on tab icon and go to add application and then paste here then click here verify and sign up okay now your account is created you can save this account password to your google tap on save now click on continue click on allow if you allow this app to always run in background then you can easily connect with this if your network will connect after that you will see remote feature page click on ok then tap on this remote control option now enable this option wait for a few seconds then tap on still enable then you will see a page like this you need to install a plugin for this control tap on download and install click on download and now install it after that get back from here then you can see they asked for grant permission on that application click on grant permission then click on settings here tap on ok then tap on downloaded services then click on air Android control then enable this accessibility for that application then you will see a awareness notification like this wait for a few seconds and mark this line now click on ok now just get back and allow this option display over other app tap on back now your work is done click on done now let's go to your first phone for control second phone from this phone what you need to do uh, firstly open chrome browser and here type web.airdroid.com after that you will see here a option to sign in sign in here the same account which is you are created in second phone type here gmail address and password of your air dot account then mark this checkbox and tap on sign in after connected to your account now here click on control to control your second phone 
sorry my other phone is locked that why i could not connect it when you want to connect to any phone make sure second phone is using or unlocked by user and make sure two phone is connected to wi-fi let me unlock my second phone now if i click on retry as you can see it is connect very smoothly now as you can see i can use this second phone from my first phone i can remotely control anything of this anything of this second phone i can watch and use whatsapp youtube facebook messenger everything from this device so friend i hope you understand this process and if you have any queries let me know in the comment i will try my best to help you please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button of this video thanks for watching this video